Hello, my name is Allie, and welcome to my channel. We are back with Caller X Malice, Okazuki's Route. Now, it has been a while since I could record Caller X Malice. I, if you didn't see my last Hakuoki episode, I ended up catching the lovely Rona virus, and I had like no voice for days. At least it wasn't, it was a very mild case. But as of right now, my son and my husband both have it. This is so much fun. Let's just go. Oh yeah, the crazy accent. Here we go. We'll pick this up again tomorrow night. I'm looking forward to seeing you again. Sanjo turned and started walking away. I hadn't expected him to answer. Wait, we're not done. Try anything stupid and you might never see me again. Uh, with that parting note, Sanjo went back inside the building. The target is an active police officer. While we were on our way back to the station, Okazuki murmured. The target is likely someone who committed some misdeed in the past. Yeah, but why did Sanjo offer us a contest? I was curious about that too. If Sanjo is a member of Adonis, what if he's in some kind of danger? That's probably true. But I think that he knew about both of us, and he also knew about your caller. Yes. The person behind the caller had probably heard the entire conversation. What if Sanjo, as one of the Adonis's pawns, would be punished for trying to act on his own ahead of schedule? His memories erased, just like Rika Sugawara's. It was definitely a pretty risky maneuver for Sanjo. The person who put that collar on you wanted you to solve the cases. So maybe this is the terrorist's way of testing you. Testing me. I felt... What the heck was that? I'm sorry, outside I heard almost like a screaming bird, like right at my window. It just caught me off guard. Anyway, I felt both anxious and angry. It was like they were toying with me. But... I couldn't let myself be controlled by such feelings. Now that we had been given this chance, I had to do whatever it took to prevent the attack. By the way, shouldn't you be getting some rest? Huh? It's already pretty late at night. Don't you want to head home? I think I'd just stay up worrying if I went home. I'll be fine. Okazuki told me to get some rest and that we'd start gathering information tomorrow morning. But I couldn't stay still, so I would continue research when I returned to the station. I should look for any police officers who might have a grudge held against them. I had to look for whatever I could find. The time limit was drawing closer. Thank you for walking me back. I thanked Tokazuki as usual once we were in front of the police station. Let's meet up tomorrow morning. All right. I couldn't do my normal work tomorrow, so I needed to ask Moshida for time off. I'm sorry, I can't tell him the whole story. If I made the wrong move and Adonis thought I was cooperating, there'd surely be victims. Will you really be okay? Okazuki still looked worried. Every day, he told me not to push myself too hard, but I couldn't obey that advice today. It's okay. I'm tough. Huh. <laughs> Okazuki chuckled when I did an impression of the text he'd sent me before. <laughs> ah, you're copying me. That's not nice. Oh, you noticed? Of course. But it was adorable, so I forgive you. <laughs> I thought your te text was cuter. For a while, we laughed together, and his gaze softened. But I really want you to rest. You need to be able to go when it's crunch time. Promise me? All right, I promise. If you go down, I'll have no reason left to live, you know. <laughs> You're exaggerating. When he talked like this, it always made my heart beat quicken, but... I knew he was trying to help me, and that warmed my heart. I wasn't exaggerating. 
Make sure you get plenty of rest, too. We did a lot of walking today. I'll be counting on you again tomorrow. Thank you. Really? You'll count on me? Of course. I'm glad. It makes me really happy to have you rely on me. Okazaki grabbed my hands and swung them back and forth like a child. I'd held those large hands many times, but it still made my heart race. Text me if anything happens. If it's in the middle of the night, it's still okay. Like, if you want my opinion on your research. Th thank you. His smile was so innocent. I laughed with him, still holding his hands. And make sure you get something to eat. Uh, okay. Okay, Dad. Also, make sure you get enough sleep. Why is it a question? Yes, I know. Um, Okazuki, if you don't mind. People were going to notice. Okazuki sadly let go. Let me see. What else? Uh, I'll be okay. Goodness, you're so overprotective lately. I can't help it. Even if you don't like it, I worry about you. It's not that I don't like it. Oh, but now you'll lose more sleep if I keep you any longer. I want to stay by your side at all times, but I guess I can't. I suppose not. I was also reluctant to part ways, but why did he let that slip? It made me a little lonely to think that I was the only one who realized it. I'll be heading inside then. Okay, good luck, and see you tomorrow. I left Okazuki and returned to the station. He's like a papa bear right now, and that's Yanagi's job. Okazuki's point of view. All right, I should contact them. Thanks for today, Takaru. She got there with your help. I appreciate it. Any progress? Keisuke Sanjo is with Adonis. That's almost guaranteed. Do you have any evidence? Don't tell me he confessed. Nope. But he announced the target that would die tomorrow. What? He told you that? Right there? Why? He challenged her and said he'd turn himself in if she stopped the attack. I don't get it. So, place and target? Target's an active police officer. That's the only hint he gave. She's looking for an officer who someone might have a grudge against. Can you lend a hand here? Real slave driver, aren't ya? I'll buy donuts. Don't want them. Bring at least ten for me. I don't share. Yes, sir. Don't take the bait. Those emojis are so annoying. Enough, Okazuki. We have new intel, too. What is it? We got some top-secret files on the PM assassination attempt two years ago. Uh. Thanks. Can I come pick them up? Be here in five minutes. <laughs> Takaru's so impatient. Now that Yanagi's given the go-ahead, it'll be easier for me to act. Uh, two years ago. If only I'd died. There's no point in dwelling on the past. But I don't want to fail this time. I never want to feel this way again. What I have to do. My role. My wish. I know you'll grant it, lady. Back to Lady Hoshino. December 22nd, 7 a.m. Phew. The next morning, I yawned and stretched in front of my monitor. I'd taken a nap as I had been ordered to, and then thrown myself headlong into research on my workstation. Morning, lady. Ah, good morning, Okazaki. Sleep well last night? Yes, in the nap room. 
How many hours? Um, about three hours? That's no good. You need a minimum of four, or fatigue will wear you down. I checked the time. We'd promised to meet up in the morning, but there was still plenty of time before our meetup. Did you get enough sleep, Okosuke? Yeah, I did. How many hours? About three, I think. Eh? Then you aren't one to talk. Well, I get high-quality sleep. Uh-huh. I used some of my super special sleeping products last night. Through the course of our conversation, I became fully awake. Anyway, can we talk about what I managed to dig up last night? When I changed the subject, Okazaki's expression changed, and he nodded. Of course, let's hear it. There were many police scandals that had arisen here in the past five years. Sando implied that Todoroki had committed some misdeed in the past that wasn't public knowledge. And Sanjo had held animosity over that misdeed against him. That meant the next target was very likely to be an officer that also had been involved in some past scandal. I found dozens of incidents. I think if I go back further, I'll keep finding more. But I didn't know how to limit my search. There was no end to them. I considered preventing all the officers that I considered at risk of being targeted from leaving the building. But I don't have the authority to do that, and I wouldn't be able to explain my reasons to Investigations HQ anyway. So it feels like I'm just losing sight of how I need to go about this. I thought that disgusting my disgusting discussing my findings could help me refocus, but I was getting more annoyed. <laughs> Don't stress out. J let's just do what we can. He patted me on the head, calming my nerves the way he always did. Let me think. Why don't we go to Shiraishi with what you've found so far? I see. So you're here for my input? When we explained everything to Shiraishi, he leaned in curiously, as if an interesting game has caught his attention. Should I dig deeper into the past? There's no end of information, and we're running out of time. Among the people tied to scandals you've found, are there any that you think could be targeted? Huh? Why? Sanjo quit five years ago, correct? I doubt he's interested in events before then. Based on what you've told me, it's not like his irritation with the police has mellowed out any since he left. So, shouldn't you be looking for scandals that happened after he quit rather than before? I see. That makes sense. Shiraishi, do you think any of these people would be targets? Wouldn't it be boring if I just told you? Mm, no. Plus, boring isn't really the issue here. But I can only work with the indirect information that you've given me. Tell me your thoughts after you met with Sanjo. Without that, I can't help. Even though you need the, that information, it's still all tangled up in my head. Huh. Then let's sort through those thoughts one at a time. Okazuki helpfully chimed in. I nodded. Then let's begin with the changing nature of the crimes that have happened in December. What have the December incidents so far had in common um they weren't well planned and were carried out in a way to dispose of adonis's pawns right oh you answered quickly so you do use your brain i'm surprised ah <sighs> please don't make so much fun of me that's right Chiraishi. lady can perform when it counts okazuki that's not very encouraging Huh? Sorry. Anyway, you can't tease her without my permission, Shinaishi. Doesn't that mean he can tease me if he does have your permission? It's fine. I won't give it. Uh, okay. You two get along quite well. I realized that Shinaishi had a surprised look on his face. Hmm? 
Yeah, we get along really well. He's causing misunderstandings again. Hmm. I figured you for the silly type of Kuski. Hmm. Huh. Who knows what might happen? <laughs> anyway, let's return to the topic. A common thread between the December incidents. There's another one besides those you've mentioned. Oh, there is? Yeah, I'll give you a hint. Today, they're going to announce that Rika Sugawara will be formally charged for the arson murder. <gasps> Sugawara was tied to the stalker murder in July, and she committed the December arson. Ah, so that's the common thread. Oh, you figured it out already? Did you realize it too? Um, we are going to say... They're linked to the countdown crimes. Let's do that. There's a connection to the monthly X day crimes from April to November, right? Hmm? Eh? What's with that reaction? Wow, Shidaishi, you actually listened to me. Uh-huh. I said he couldn't mock you without my permission, didn't I? Just now he totally wanted to, but he held back. My job is a profiler, you see? Okazuki's very cunning. No, um, so was my answer wrong? Huh? No, you were right. Correct. So why did he react like that, then? Don't tell me he thought that I definitely wouldn't be able to understand, or that he was impressed that I was able to figure out with my tiny brain. Hmm... It's obviously that. Shiraishi is quite contrarian. I've never heard that word before. <laughs> I wonder. I don't want to hear that from you. Um, sorry. We're getting off topic. The commonality between December incidents, right? The former game developer who was executed by gunshot worked on the online game that the victims in August played. The bombing at the Tokyo Metropolitan Office on the 15th targeted the Board of Education for covering up school bullying. That's related to the middle school bombing that happened in June. In other words, the event that Sanjo warned us about is likely connected to the November homicide. Exactly. I was correct to think that the target would be someone related to the police who had been implicated in the past scandal. But there are police scandals that are both known and unknown to the public. You found scandals that could only be known within the police, right? Uh, yes. I looked up whatever I could, even if they weren't events the public was aware of. There's a lot to look through if we include them all, so we'll need to narrow it down. Police scandals that were publicized and unpublicized. Unpu we are going to narrow down by... The public scan, the public, oh my god, the publicized <laughs> scandals. <coughs> Sando despises police culture, so he'd be interested in unpublicized events. But that wouldn't fit with the way that Adonis had been doing things. If Adonis wants to provoke the police and stir up public animosity, as they have in the past, then I think they'd want quick results. For example, there could be publicly known events that had unnaturally faded from view. In other words, it might be more persuasive to use previously known incidents and claim that the media was manipulated to remove them from view. I agree. The target is certain to be responsible for an incident, but was targeted as innocent. If we narrow it down to these... Then what sort of person would Keisuke Sanjo target? There are lots of different scandals. Bribery, fabricated evidence, mistakes. Sanjo would target... What are we going to say? I'm, gonna, I'm guessing someone who got away... No, wait. Yeah, someone who got away with the crime. That's right. Okay. I wanted to make sure. Sanjo used to be a police officer. 
he'd be aware that there are officers who lament their tough investigations and unintentional mistakes sometimes lead to damaging consequences. I'm not condoning the mistakes, but if he's experienced that, then I doubt he'd be willing to kill for such reasons. Okazaki nodded in agreement. He has his own beliefs and sense of justice. I could see that much. When he said that, I recalled Sanjo's words. Flashback. They claim to be servants of the law, but any crimes committed by officers are swept under the rug, my god, or even spun to the public as heroic tales. That accent's not easy. The fake accent that I've... I don't know how many accents I added in one. (laughs) Which means the target is... Someone who should have been punished for committing a crime, but wasn't charged and instead remained a police officer. That would be it. Looking at my list, there were four people who fit all of the conditions. Surprisingly, all of them worked in local police boxes. Lady, do you know any of them? No, I don't know anyone on police box duty that I haven't worked with directly. Even though they were stationed in Shinjuku, they were spread out all over the ward. Shouldn't we begin by letting them know that they're in danger? We can't trust telephones, so it'd be best to inform them personally. And I'm going to let you guys go here. I hope you are enjoying, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!